Quiet on set. Roll sound. Roll camera. Bravo, take two. My name is Ivy Miller and we are currently in a loft. So we're filming Baited here. <laughs> My character's name is Elle, and she is an 18-year-old art student struggling with depression and still trying to get over her dad's death from when she was seven. She's still struggling to sort of get her feelings out. She's sort of had it bottled up since her dad passed when she was a kid. It's all about her finding her connection with him again through her art. You'll see in the story, her demeanor is changing, so we'll see her a little bit more sad. And at the end, the resolution on her thinking that there's more to it in life than just like focusing on the bad things. With the help of her psychiatrist and through the art that she fell in love with, with her dad mm -hmm. ages and ages ago, that's how she sort of gets all her feelings out and ends up in a better place. I actually, I kind of like thought on the idea of the short like a while back because it's, it's based on kind of like a personal experience what I went through. I've been kind of like developing the idea and the story for a while already. But when I applied for Herland, I had to finally like kind of like sit down and just like write. I'm Sandy Summers and I'm a filmmaker, a writer, director, producer. And for Herland, I started the program quite a while ago. Herland started as a film festival in the late 80s. It was an amazing film festival because they brought in films by the gay, queer, lesbian community, women of color. Really diverse films were played. When the festival closed, so did kind of the infrastructure and support for the workshop close. And so I stopped doing it. And then came a time uh, around 2013 that people were coming to me and saying, you got to start that again. There's not a lot of women who are remaining in the film industry. And so I did a lot of interviewing of women, why were they leaving, and created um, the five-month program. Herland's main goal is to bring more films by women to the public eye. So I kind of like, you know, that would be a really cool idea, like that would be a really cool thing to do, right? So, you know, just apply and just like uh, do a short and learn about directing and learn more about filmmaking, right? I'm on the counseling office. We are just about to start filming the dialogue scene with both Susan and Ivy, both of our actresses. So it should be really, really fun. So Jimena got into the program based on her script and her commitment to making films. What I saw in her set was a lot of women pitching in, working on crew, which was amazing. I saw really beautiful images, which let me know that she has a vision, she knows what she wants, and she was able to pull it all together. Well, I've worked with Jimena, the director, before, and Mark the assistant director. I've worked with them on two other projects. So when they put out the casting call on Facebook, I knew I was gonna be in good hands if I worked <laughs> with them again. Every single shoot typically has some hiccup. And what I found with Jimena was that I didn't even see her hiccup. She just smiled her way through it. And it was such a joy and blessing to watch her work. 
And I'm so thankful that she's a part of the program because that's who we're doing this program for, for, for women who have drive and talent, creativity, and they, they want to make their way in the film world. Sandy, she's been great. She's been teaching us directing. I do like it because you kind of have like a different point of view on how everything rolls. Every position, every crew member has like their own job to do. I love sets. I love film sets. I love the uh, sort of camaraderie and how everyone has their own specialty and it all sort of comes together to create something amazing. Seeing all the different aspects that a director's I needs to go on and pulling it all together is ultimately such an amazing part of the process. It's been quite a really good experience with everyone and meeting like like another female filmmakers here in Calgary. There's a lot of changes going on in the Calgary community. One of the things that I have seen is the excitement of women who find other women that they can work with. That there are writers out there, there's producers, there's directors, there's editors, there's DOPs, grips, gaffs. There's now a driving force of women really searching other women to do work with. And I think that that's fascinating and so wonderful. I think it'll continue to grow because women are really ready for change. Women are getting an opportunity to advance their skills. I'm really happy on how everything is working out and how it's looking, so I'm really excited how the final project is going to look. We have a wonderful celebratory screening of all the films, April 6th, 7 p.m. at the Globe Theatre. After that though, we'll definitely put it on YouTube on our channel, L120 Films, so you can go check it out. Jimenez Peace does such a beautiful way of talking about mental illness and depression. It works so well because it really comes across as a personal story. It's a very beautiful story, it's a very intimate story of a young woman's memories fading of her father. Depression is a big deal and what I want everyone to take out of it is that you can deal with it and the best way to do it is just like speak up, talk about it because if you keep everything to yourself it's not good for you at all. You won't be able to move on or get out of that state that is keeping you depressed. Removing the stigma around mental health is really important. In this day and age where we do have more access to talk and more access for help, I think that her piece will go a long way of people looking at it and relating to it and feeling with it. Just don't keep anything for you. Just think the best out of things. Cut.